I've stated many times that here in the United States, we have patriarchy light. That is, we don't have a patriarchy that's backed by our laws. Okay, we've pretty much given women the same rights as men. Now, it can be argued in some ways by some people that, that maybe we don't, but you know, for the most part, on a legal side, women have the same rights as men. But there are a number of social things that are left over. And, you know, if someone is trying to find, as I said in my last, uh, you know, political video, if someone is trying to find the patriarchy everywhere, they, they're they going to find it everywhere, just like you'll find any sort of bigotry everywhere, just like you can find a, the same number everywhere, and, oh, well, look for all the white cars while you're on the freeway, and, and so on and so forth, right? So, I mean, if you're looking for it all the time, you're probably going to find it all the time. But there are places where it is pretty blatant. Like this, for example. Ultimately, she says that as a man, it is not my place to tell a woman what to do with her body. But I say that it is not just the woman's body at stake. What are your thoughts on this, most specifically about the two argument, arguments I mentioned? Uh, your wife is just dead wrong, I'm sorry to say. And uh, it's your, your responsibility as the head of the household to show her that. Good old Michael Knowles preaching the good word, right? that women should be subservient to men. Make sure you put them in their place, right? Sounds kind of similar to what women go through in the Middle East in countries that have Sharia. Gee, how lovely. But it's okay if they say it if, if they're Bible-based. It's, it's magically turned into something else, right? And if men actually give their wives a decent amount of say as to what goes on in the household, if they run their household kind of democratically in that regard, oh, well, they're, they're just uh, cucks or pussies or they're simps or whatnot because they actually, you know, give a shit about uh, the women in their relationships. And so there is this notion coming from conservatives and Republicans that if you push against this idea of women having to be subservient in a relationship, then you're against family values. And how dare you speak against family values? And I'm just like, look, you know, if you want to live your life that way, those are the values you have. Have your values. Great. But when you speak poorly of those who want to live differently than that, and when you make it sound like those people are destroying your way of life simply because they want to live differently than that, that's a problem. And in the case of people like Michael Knowles, you can clearly see what the intentions are. It's not to prop the woman up on a pedestal, it's to tell women that they should be subservient to men. It's blatant. This isn't something like finding patterns in white noise. This is this is blatant. I just wanted to make that clear.